One of the fun things about this movie is that you've got these really educated, really intelligent, really philosophically minded people getting some of their core beliefs challenged. One of our professors, John, the mythical, mystical man, is leaving and we're here to determine why. I think that in this story, we're, we're, we're sort of set with a big question, a question which I think would turn the whole, all, all of us upside down. John just confided that he's 14,000 years old. Oh, John, you don't look a day over 900. <laughs> I'm wondering why he was only a few years younger than I was 10 years ago, and now the space seems to be growing wider. It's a, it's a script about ideas, and so one of the big challenges is how to uh, uh, make the ideas live and make them sound natural coming out of, out of your mouth. The idea of what if someone that you cared about said, you know, I've been around for 14,000 years, and they're serious. Of course, you're going to think that they're crazy. What if a man from the upper Paleolithic survived until the present day? It's an interesting idea. What are you working on, a science fiction story? That was what Dad wanted to do with this story. He wanted to do a very optimistic, emotional story as a science fiction film, but without the gadgets, without the explosions, without the special effects. It was a spark in the script, an, an idea, a chance to explore something. Dad wanted to do a movie that talked about ideas, and really interesting ideas. I mean, you know, is it right to live forever? First, I thought there was uh, something wrong with me. Maybe I was a bad guy for not dying. Then I began to wonder if I was cursed or perhaps blessed. You know, there's not a book on how to play someone that's 14,000 years old because I was just not. So it's kind of a challenge to try to find out why he's still moving on, why he's still in the game, what he values, why he's doing it. It begs us to ask questions about why we're here. And uh, I don't think there is any answer.